Um, first and foremost, uh, when I won the Maxwell Award um, and I went up to accept the award and everything like that, the, the banquet, um, my girlfriend at the time is currently my wife, Jordan. And she hasn't let me forget that I bypassed her right, right there. So I went right by her to hug my mom and dad. And, and, uh, and I said, well, we're dating at the time. Well, now that we're married, Jordan, first and foremost, I want to thank you. <laughs> um, she's one of the strongest people I've ever met. And, uh, um, you know, I've been very fortunate in, in my life. Uh, and now that we have two beautiful daughters, um, she's done a tremendous job, and um, she'll she'll be the first to tell you I'm not I'm not around as often as as I would like. But uh, but um, you know when I am, I just love to see the girls light up and and how much they've grown and and um, the job that that Jordan's done with them. So thank you, babe. Um, I'd also like to obviously congratulate all the all the guys up here, um, all the all the members in the Hall of Fame. Uh, it's been a tremendous night. It's going to be hard to to follow up some of these some of these speeches, uh, especially Brett's. But uh, uh, you know, I mean, what can I say? He's it's Brett. <laughs> I lived with him for two years, so I wouldn't expect anything different. So. Um, uh, I'm going to try to keep this as, as quick as I can, but obviously I can't, I can't, I, I have to thank my mom and dad. Um, my, my dad passed away in February, and um, it, it truly, uh, um, I was very fortunate to let him know that I was being inducted into the, to the UM Hall of Fame, and he lit up when he found out. Um, when, uh, uh, when I was able to go home and see him in the hospital, uh, before he passed, um, I wrote him a, a letter, and I said, "Dad, you know, in my in my business and what what we do, you know, it's uh, uh you know, there's so much stock placed in, in pedigree, you know. Oh, you know, his dad was a coach, and his dad was a coach, and you know, it, it makes him a tremendous coach. And you know, I'm not going to argue that, but I I told him I wouldn't change you." For anybody else on the on the planet, I want um, the the way he worked, and at times two jobs to make sure we had everything we wanted, and never never let us see, you know, when things were bad or when things weren't going as well as he wanted to. Um, I, you know, I I can't ever thank him enough for that. Um, and I told him, Dad, in my mind, the lessons you taught me, the work ethic that you instilled in me, that's pedigree, Dad. And I'll never, uh, you know, I can't thank you enough for that. And my mom's another great example of that. You know, she went straight from high school to, to working at Pacific Bell, um, you know, doing the phones and plugging them in and all that stuff, you know. <laughs> and... Uh, um, you know, and throughout that entire time she was working, she went back to school and got her degree um, and then started her own business from, from, from the ground up and built that business. And, um, you know, I, I tell them all the time that I'm, you know, I'm as proud as, that, as them, I'm as proud of them as I hope they are in me. And I can't thank them enough for the, the life lessons they've instilled in me and the work ethic, and um, hopefully I'm, I'm as good of a person uh, as, they, as they are. Um, I want to thank, obviously, my friends and family are here. I can't thank my teammates here enough. Brett, you know, Joaquin, uh, everybody, you know, uh, Sherco, um, Jeremy Shockey, the list goes on and on. When I watch those videos, I still get chills, you know, seeing the, the group of talent. And it's amazing. You got guys from California, from New York, from Canada, from Florida. You got all these guys all over. And Coach Sal kind of stole my thunder there with the, the poem he said because um, that poll just resonates that, with me. And the end of it, I think, is something that always stays in, 
you know, has stuck with me when it says the, the strength of the wolf is the pack and the strength of the pack is the wolf. Because I think that nothing else was, uh, you know, the, the teams we had was the best example of that, of the way guys from all over, you know, came together and really were stronger because of we, we were together. And it was a lot of individuals who, were, who came together and, and we truly were, Brett was exactly right, as close as anybody else off the field as, as anybody in the country. And um, I think that's what made us great. So I want to thank, obviously, all those guys, the offensive line, you know, um, I, can't all, I can't thank them enough uh, for making my life a little bit easier and, uh, and helping me, you know, throughout my career there. And obviously, as you can tell, they always kept things light and I'm a little high strung at times, so I get a little crazy, but you know, um, <laughs> Brett was always able to calm me down for one reason or another, you know, uh, but uh, um, it, it was truly a blessing playing here. Um, I want to thank Father Leo. Uh, he was actually one of the first people I met coming here. I came early during the summer. I was staying at one of the, the frat houses over there, and Father Leo came by and was, you know, just talking. And, you know, anybody who talks to Father Leo, you'd be like, you just kind of take a little double take when you're talking to him. But, you know, it's, uh, it was awesome. And, uh, you know, married my wife and I, uh, um, and, you know, I'm truly blessed to know him. Um, Ed Hudak, uh, I just want to want to thank you for, you know, you got me out of a lot of sticky situations throughout my career and everything like that, you know, bullying people out of the way and all that good stuff. But, but not only that, but just a great friend, you know, and, and uh, you know, your whole family and, and uh, has been great. Um, you know, uh, I want to also thank uh, Mike Stewart, uh, another close friend. He's, a, you know, a walk-on. Um, I think he's got a towel underneath his chair. He's about to start waving around there. Um, <laughs> You know, but, uh, but uh, he's a, a guy who's a walk-on who, who earned a scholarship um, because of how hard he worked and, and just the fact he bleeds orange and green. Um, I also want to, uh, you know, thank, uh, um, you know, Pete Garcia that's here. Um, you know, he was a, a big reason on why I came to the University of Miami. Uh, he's been uh, a great friend to me and Jordan and my family and uh, um, somebody that uh, I'm always gonna, gonna owe a whole lot to. Um, and then uh, obviously, you know, everybody else at the table, Doug, you know, who, who was here with us, um, all my friends and family, Chris and Casey, and, and uh, all Jordan's teammates and, and everything like that. And then I, I wouldn't be, uh, I'd be remiss without uh, thanking my mother-in-law, Nancy, who is, uh, is spectacular, so. Um, thank you, everybody, for coming. Um, I'd especially like to thank the coaches, Butch Davis for bringing me in, uh, Larry Coker uh, for, for continuing a tradition uh, when, when Coach Davis left and picking up the torch and helping us win a national title. Um, Rob Chazinski, our offensive coordinator at the time, um, truly a, a brilliant, brilliant man and a great person. And then uh, Dan Warner, who, uh, who took over. It really was a great staff. And I mean, you, 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 people ask me all the time what was unique about those teams. And I say, well, shoot, you look at those, those coaching staffs and, you know, it's guys who are, you know, either coaching the NFL, head coaches, still co I mean, the, you know, the Archeos, the Don Salingers, guys who are just tremendous coaches. Uh, you know, CJ, who's, who's at, uh, at Tulane now. I mean, the, the list goes on and on of, of the tremendous coaches. And I'm, I'm ex really excited to see that. I think, I feel like that's where the program's going under Coach Golden's leadership. Um, I, I would be remiss if I didn't mention the guys, you know, I, I stand here tonight kind of on, on the back of guys. Um, you know, the, the quarterbacks who came through it truly is a quarterback university. You know, you got guys, George Myra, uh, Jim Kelly, Vinny Testaverde, Craig Erickson. Um, I mean, tremendous players, but especially uh, Steve, Bernie, and Gino, um, guys who are who were always there for me. Um, you know, and, and, and they set the bar so high that in my mind, I had no choice but to live up to that. And, and um, you know, I think it was always a friendly competition. Um, except when you tie one of their records. <laughs> um, 
I'll never forget we're playing Boston College. We win, you know, we go to the national title game. I come, or, or, you know, we're going to a BCS game. I come home, I just throw in five touchdowns, and I get, I get a, t a call from, from Gino. It's like, hey, you know, the, Gino, I'm, oh, man, Gino's calling and say, great game. He's like, what the hell, heck, bro? You know, and naturally there's a few more. You, everybody knows Gino. There's a few more expletives involved than, you know. <laughs> but, uh, um, you know, what the heck, bro? You tied my record of five touchdowns on a screen? That shouldn't count. That doesn't count. <laughs> Come on. And he was, I mean, legitimately upset about it. I'm not going <laughs> to. But, I mean, um, you know, the, these guys are all great friends and uh, great people and, and guys I truly respect. Um, and I, I believe this with all my heart. I was, a, I was a Heisman Trophy finalist. I won the Maxwell Award. I mean, you know, there's been a lot of great accolades, but this by far, um, this by far is the biggest honor uh, that's ever been been placed on me. Um, it, it really is because of the people, uh, because of the university and and uh, and the fact it's UM. And and I just love this school. I love the city. I love the people. Um, I'll always love this place. I'll always love this school. And uh, I'll always want to be a part of this this tradition and this city. Um, I'm almost done. I promise. Um, you know, coming to school here at the University of Miami, uh, pretty much initially, you know, automatically you're going to get critics. You're going to get, you know, people saying one thing or another. It's, you know, it's going to happen for whatever reason, you know, be it, you know, how, you know, we're on top of the mountain. You know, people like to give us their best shot. Um, no matter what your record is, you go in, you're playing Miami, it's that team's Super Bowl. That's just the way it is, um, be it. You know, jealousy, uh, be it, uh, you know, people just don't like who we are and what we're about, I don't know. But in my mind, you know, what the University of Miami is about is about tradition, it's about greatness, it's about brotherhood, it's about pride. And I'm, I'm truly honored to be a part of that, and I'm truly honored that, that those characteristics are being instilled uh, to this day. And I think it's a it's an honor, you know, to be a part of that tradition. And uh, I wouldn't change the decision of coming here and, and across the world from California, you know, and driving, you know, across the country with my mom in a motor home, um, you know, come to school here. I wouldn't, I wouldn't change that decision for the world. And I, I can only hope and pray that my kids one day um, will have those same experiences here at UM that I had. And, uh, and are blessed to come to school here because it truly is, you know, the greatest, uh, the greatest place in the world, in my opinion, and I wouldn't change, change it for the world. Thank you very much. It truly is an honor. Thank you, Bert. Thank you. Congratulations.